Ugh, I have all these teammates asking me to spin up new projects for them, but each one requires special tweaks, and then I have to apply the standard configuration? That's it. Just use the Cloud Deployment Manager to create projects. Oh, that's the uh, Infrastructure and Configuration as Code tool, right? Isn't that kind of hard to set up? No, not at all. If you use the Cloud Foundation Toolkit templates, such as the Project Factory. All right, can we see how it works? Sure thing. The Cloud Foundation Toolkit has a lots of great templates to get started from. Let's begin with some easy firewall rules as a warm-up. Looking up a template at the CFT repository, you will find a readme how to use the template with a ready-to-go example configuration. First, let's go on the repo and jump into the templates folder. Now copy the example file and fill out the mandatory properties about your environment. In this case, the VPC name, which is the network where you want the firewalls to live. For now, let's use the default network. Make sure you enable the required APIs, Compute and Deployment Manager, and then we are ready to launch the deployment. Using the gCloud CLI, our resources will be created via Deployment Manager within a couple of seconds. This shows up in the Cloud Console immediately. If we go back to the config and change some properties, we can update the resources during its lifecycle via Deployment Manager. If we refresh the list of firewalls, we can see the changes. Finally, by deleting the deployment, we clean up all the resources which we created. Now comes the real deal. We create a shared VPC host project, adding subnetworks in it, then we create a guest project and attaching it to one of those subnets. First, let's set our environment variables and enable the required APIs based on prerequisite section of the readme. Don't forget to allow Deployment Manager to attach your billing account to projects. After copying and filling out the example, open the configuration file and edit at the end, because first we create the VPC host project. Now let's launch the deployment. It usually takes a couple of minutes to create all of these resources. Now we copy the network template example and launch it with all the default settings in the VPC host project, which we just created. Last step is to copy the project example configuration again for the guest project fill out the environment properties, and make sure we are referencing the recently created subnet we wish to attach this project to. After the same create command, we can see at the Cloud Console the two projects, the network with the subnets at the host project, and the attached guest project. There you go. You just implemented the automated project factory in your organization. Check out our GitHub repository, the Deployment Manager best practices, and some further bad side stories down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content. <laughs>